Uh, hello everyone, this is going to be my first YouTube video and um, I started a MIDI script uh, that uh, tries to integrate uh, Arturia Keylab um, 61 MK2 uh, with FL Studio and uh, this script should technically work on the 49 and 88 keyboard. I haven't tried it myself. Um, there may be changes that need to be made if you try to make it for Keylab Essential. Uh, it's almost done. The only thing I haven't done yet is the uh, slider integration. But all the encoder knobs, um, all of the buttons, they should work. Uh, there are some bugs with the punch in, punch out keys, uh, but I'll fix that in a bit. Um, but anyway, uh, the goal of this project, or sorry, the goal of this uh, MIDI script was to be able to use uh, FL Studio without actually looking at the screen. Uh, so my goal was I wanted to be able to uh, make music, record music, all the basic track, um, and then do all of this recording without having to look back at my computer. And then once all of the patterns that are played out, you know, then I can go back and uh, use FL Studio. Uh, so one thing I do want to mention as a disclaimer is that I'm pretty new to FL Studio and I'm actually pretty new to the whole um, music composition environment. So um, there are some terminologies I'm not quite familiar with, but uh, I do have a programming background, so I was able to pick up MIDI script pretty quickly. Um, but uh, one of the things that I was annoyed about with FL Studio and uh, Arteria's Keylab 61 was that there wasn't really an integration. Um, so I went ahead and uh, wrote one that I felt comfortable with. Um, so what you're seeing right now on this display is basically um, it's a channel, uh, the channel number colon, and then the pattern number. And you can change the channel, uh, the channels in the channel rack, uh, either by clicking these buttons here, uh, which will change the different uh, channels. And so these are the, the different things. Um, the one thing I haven't figured out is how to create uh, a new channel from the keyboard. So right now, the only thing that you do need to do is when you create a new project, um, you'll have to add all of your channels um, before you start using the keys. Um, so what I've done in the background on my computer uh, before starting recording this video was that I added uh, three, um, three tracks for Flex. Um, and right now, uh, Flex plugin is the only one that I have uh, mapped to these encoders. Uh, every other plugin I still have to work on. Um, so anyway, uh, just to get started, um, to explain, um, so what this script will let you do is you can uh, iterate through, th so this knob um, controls several parameters and you can change what it controls by pressing these uh, left and right button. So by default it controls the volume, um, you can change the pan, uh, zero is the center and negative is left and right is positive numbers. Um, you can also set the pitch. Um, you can also, if you have a window open or and it's playing, you can set uh, where you are. So this is the scrub in time. Um, also, you can select a pattern uh, from here. Right now, when you have one pattern, but I can add a new pattern um, with this button here. Um, also, I've made a, I, uh, I basically scrapped, uh, scratched over an existing one and uh, wrote the new uh, functionality that I added. So. Keep in mind that um, this button here is new pattern. This is going to be up and down, um, and then that's going to be a song button. Um, so I'll, I'll cover each of what these does. Um, so first, um, you know, I'll point out that uh, when you're when you're making music, you you know you you have the basic functionality of you know, wanting to record. Uh, let me first uh, pick a track. Okay, so first. Let me go to my flex, um, my flex instrument, or my flex channel, and then I want to pick some instrument that I like. So I don't like this one, but let me see. So plugin preset. Um, so this will go through all the preset, and I have to make this faster. But right now, you can change all of these until you find something that you like. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this quickly. Uh, let's go through. Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, this sounds good. 
and I don't really like the reverb. So here's, I can change the pattern. Um, so what it is, is like uh, these knobs, they will control every, like a, a group of um, knobs or sliders in the, um, inside the flex plugin. And uh, they do groups at a time. So I actually had to map to different pages. So pushing this button will cycle through all the different pages. So there's six of them. And uh, this will do the filters. This one's the filter, the tack, the hold, decay. Ooh, that sounds terrible. Let's go to the tack. Okay, we probably want faster decay. Give it a sustain. Okay, I can also change the pitch here. And I'm just gonna reset it. I really messed up the... <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's pick something else. Okay, an accordion, something simple. Um, so if you wanna record, you know, you just press the record button and um, play. And you'll notice that I have a visual uh, metronome. So these buttons will uh, light up and every time it lights up on this side, it's basically a bar. Um, and so it's just going to keep doing that. And if you just want a two-step measure, um, you can use this instead as a visual indication. Um, let me start over. Oh, I guess I didn't record. Okay. Three, four. Oops. Okay. Well, anyway, you get the idea. And let's just come back. So anyway, I don't like that. I'm just going to create a new pattern. Um, there's my new pattern, pattern two, and I can verify there's nothing on it just by playing it, uh, but I could also record over it, record a new one. Okay. So you can listen to that, turn off the metronome. Okay, and you know, the rewind and forward buttons work. Okay, uh, let's see, what other functionality? Um, so I can add another, uh, well, I have another channel here. So this one has nothing on it right now. And I will... Let's add a guitar string accompaniment. Uh, here we go. Don't need a metronome anymore. So you can see there's a layering, and let me turn down the, turn the one for this, and turn down the volume for the other one. Uh, oops. Oh, my computer went to sleep. Okay. So that's right now on the guitar. That's according, that one's too loud, okay. So the other thing to notice is that there's this uh, song song button. Um, pressing it when it's glowing will switch to song mode, and uh, when it's not glowing, then it's actually in pattern mode. Um, so these all work. Um, this these buttons up here will affect the current channel. Um, and then this will select the patterns. So right now it's on pattern one and I can change the pattern two. If I want to create a new pattern, it's this button here. And um, we can uh, solo or mute the channels um, if we want to. So for example, um, I'm playing this one. Let's solo the um, guitar channel, right? And you can see that it's also muted uh, this is the accordion that's muted. I can unmute it now. Okay. 
Um, so that's just a, some basic functionality to give you to explain. Um, I'm still continuing to work on this script. Uh, the one thing I'm not sure about how to hook up are these uh, sliders. I can't quite figure out if I should be um, making these adjust like the overall uh, mixer volume or if these should be sliders for the plugins. I'm also trying to figure out if there's a way to change this such that um, I can hook up one of these buttons so that it changes the slider mode. But that's still a work in progress. Um, but if you have any comments, you know, or feedback or any um, suggestions, you know, do let me know. And I'll try to throw them into the, the MIDI script as well. Okay, thank you.